Uh, yes guys what's happening just about five minutes ago i heard the game the black slim shady track a diss track by the game to eminem slim shady um this is all over the social media and everything and i just heard it and i thought what's this what's this rap about yeah let's see what it's about i did hear a couple of months before that there's always feeds coming up that the game said something to Eminem and, you know, I think he's dissing him, this, that. And, you know, me growing up, I'll make this video brief. Me growing up, I remember when the game was part of G-Unit and then 50 Cent, I believe, he kicked game out. And then game, he had his own record label and, then he started making rap songs like uh, the phase was G U not, so it's G U not, and they were selling T-shirts. I actually bought one. I bought a G U not T-shirt because I was a game fan back then, and um, and I was a G Unit fan too, to be honest. But I liked G U not. I liked I liked games. Uh, I thought he was a lyrical genius. You know, I thought he was great at the time. You know. And uh, he's still very talented. They're all talented. Uh, 50 Cent, The Game, Eminem. They're all talented. Um, you know, there's no harm in being a fan of all. But one thing I like to say is that, me, you know, when, you know, with Game, this is what I personally believe, Game, I see a lot of jealousy in this guy, you know. Because, you know, all he was doing in his career, yeah, now I come to think of it, he was chasing 50 Cent. He was chasing him, right? And he's jealous of him. Look at 50 Cent is right now and look at where game is right now, yeah? So it's just like in boxing, you know, if you stay quiet, you're not going to get, uh, you know, a boxing deal signed, yeah? you got to call out your opponent. Yeah, you got to call him. I got to do a bit of trash talking, yeah? And then you got to get attention and people are looking at this and that. And then, then you, you know, then people start talking about you, yeah? This is the game. And his name is the game. Because this is the game where trash talk sells. Just like we all know Conor McGregor in UFC. Big trash talk guy, yeah? And this is what sells. He knows how to market himself. Now so does the game with his distract. Now, when these guys are not young anymore, guys, these guys have all got kids, they got families and stuff. And, you know, the 90s was a, you know, what, about 20 years ago. And now, this guy still got something on his chest. And he goes, okay, let's do a rap this on Eminem, yeah? To be honest, for me, I find it childish right now. Because even I've become a father too, family man, and it becomes boring, you know? Listening to a, 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 a maybe f almost a fifty year old man, these guys must be either forty past their forties, they must be fifties, and they're dissing each other, you know. And uh, he's dissing Eminem, and and now Eminem might have to write something back to diss him. If that does happen, then you know that this is for entertainment, yeah. This is all it is, entertainment. But it can be personal too, because if you're calling out his wife Kim, and then you're calling out his daughter Haley, and but obviously Eminem should keep these names quiet. You know, sometimes he might have regrets now. But everything he wrote was poor all his truth in there. That's what made him the man he is today. That's why people connect a lot with him, yeah? But when you put all your family members in your songs, you become a target. That's what I believe anyway. So sometimes try to refrain from putting your family in there. Uh, is the best way to be, I think. Um... But anyway, um, one thing I just want to criticize uh, about the track, I don't like the racism, you know. Uh, there's a lot of racism in that song, uh, The Black Sim Shady. Um, you know, it's talking about my black skin and stuff like that. And I found it that, you know, that Eminem is a white guy and he's not good enough 
um, is not good enough to to be in uh, the hip hop industry. Um, you know, um, I think Eminem has every right to be in the hip hop industry. As much as some of the songs I didn't like, like Rap God, I you know I'm a man of God. I believe that you can't call yourself a God, but he's calling himself a rap God, you know. And uh, and Eminem did sell his soul during his career, you know, sell his soul to the devil. Um, you know, most of these musicians did, and it's quite dark. Eminem was, to be honest. But now he's grown up. Now he's realizing that you know what I'm. You know, he's he's changed a lot. You know, he's. The recovery album is there's a lot of hum is a lot of humbleness with him now. He's changed a lot. So I, I like Eminem. I like the game too. But I didn't like this uh, Black Slim Shady track because I found it racist. I'll be straight with you. I found it racist and I believe that there's no need for it. Because music has no colour, guys. Look, I'm a I'm a brand guy, yeah. I'm a brand man. If you want to call me or something, I'm a brand man. But I'm listening to I'm listening to black music. I'm listening to white music. I listen to rock and roll, right? I don't call it white music, and I and I, and I listen to hip hop, and I don't call that black music. But I listen to you know, I listen to anybody, any music, which is good to my ears. If I can pick up something from it, and if it makes me nod my head a bit, and if it takes sometimes, if it takes, makes my mood better. If I'm in the gym or if I'm cycling or if I'm doing something, you know, I love music. Music has no boundaries of color, guys. You should never limit yourself. So music is for all. And uh, I think the game needs to keep the race card out of it, to be honest. I think we're all grown up now. We all should respect one another. Okay, diss each other. Yeah, if you, if, I don't think you should, but... If he's made a diss track, keep the race card out of it, please. This is my personal opinion, yeah? Like I said, I'm a brand guy. I listen to all music. And music has no boundaries, no colour, yeah? This is it, guys. There's no colour, there's no boundaries. Show respect for all races. All, doesn't matter what race you are. You're white, you're black, you're brown, you're pink, you're blue, you're green. It does not matter, guys. And this is just dividing people, you understand? It divides people. With music like this, it divides people. So guys, if you take anything out of this video, don't be racist. 